Hey everybody, welcome back to part three, my cabin build video series. Uh, the rain that they were forecasting for this week got canceled, so now we just have wildfire smoke. Um, so that gives me a chance to carry on with, with some of the projects on the cabin. So today I'm going to work on the door. Um, down here at the house, I'm going to build the door down here and then I'll cart it up to the woods and, and install it up there. Kitty. Yeah. You going to help? Yeah. Come on, now. now. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Does the door fit? Uh, I always find doors to be particularly problematic. There's not a lot of room for error. They either fit real nice or they don't fit. So we'll see how I did. You know, I think it's going to work. Um, it could work. It might be a little bit too tall. I'm worried that it's either going to drag on the top or along the floor because I want it to open out. Um, but maybe not. I'm going to give it a try. So it's actually not too shabby. Uh, it opens, that's good. Opens and closes. It fits all right. It's a little bit warped. Either the frame is a little bit warped or the door is because it hits at the bottom and there's still a little bit at the top. But I think if I have a latch here that closes, that'll hold it pretty well. So um, now I'm gonna I cut some trim pieces. We'll see if those fit to go around it. My idea was these would go something like this.
There, I think that looks pretty good. I do still want to build a little short cover that comes out over the door to keep some rain off the door and maybe leave a little dry spot here for shoes or whatever. But that may have to wait for another day. So today I want to, in the short time I have um, this morning, build a little awning over the front door, kind of keep it from getting too wet, keep a little dry spot in the front, and also want to uh, trim the window and do some caulking and seal that up real good to get it ready for the rain. So I got a couple hours here. Should be no problem to knock those, those two things out. Okay, I'm going to start back here on this window. Um, I've got these one by twos that I'm just going to cut a frame out of. You can kind of see, I think, maybe with the camera, I can't reach that high right now, but there's a big gap back here that I don't like. So I'm going to just make this little frame out of these one by twos, and then I can put a bead of caulking along here and should seal that up a little better. All right, now I want to have a look at this uh, front door awning. So I want it to be as wide as possible to actually be as wide as the door, um, but it, it also needs to be tall enough that it's not coming down lower than the door so that you hit your head on it. But the higher it is, the narrower it is, so I got to find a sweet spot. Uh, so the door is this wide, so that puts it up to there. Nice if it was a little wider. Could also make it shorter and then it could be wider because, well, I think something like that will work.
Okay. The awning is done. So I've been thinking about how to do the awning supports. And uh, the, so the ones that I've seen people have on other cabins like this done is somehow they, the awning comes up and then the supports, you know, sit kind of like this. And then I think they fold up somehow that way. Um, so I was thinking about that. What I don't like about that is like I don't it seems like when they're folding up and it's coming down they're gonna stick inside the cabin and maybe there's a way to tuck them up I'm not sure I couldn't really think of a good way to make that work so what I thought I would do is is connect my supports down here so that they're just laying against the frame here most of the time when it's down and then when you lift it up they can come out and kind of slot into a notch or something down here and they'll be like that so I had some ideas, but I'm going to have to kind of figure it out as I go along. Hopefully get something to work. All right, so the first thing I've done here, I've just propped this up temporarily. I'm going to get it kind of at the angle that I want, and then I can measure what I need down here. Okay, well that part seems good. That only took about 10 minutes. Uh, so I'm off to a good start. Now I just need to see if it's possible to open and close for one person and build some kind of backstop for when it's closed and they fold back in so that they don't just fall onto the floor in there. Okay, uh, as soon as I started trying to close this, I realized what the problem is. Um, I can only reach one of these at a time. And as soon as I lift this up, the one I'm not holding is going to fall forward and I won't be able to get it back in. So I need some way to get them back in together. And I was thinking if I had like a bar uh, that stretched between the two, maybe I could lift it up in the middle and then push them both back at the same time. So something like this. I got this added on here, so now it can be done, but it takes... So let me demonstrate. Lift it up, roll this back. Yep. Uh, it takes a lot of muscle to get this thing open. It takes uh, maybe with two people, it'd be easier, but um, I mean, it takes somebody that's pretty tall. Pretty strong to lift this up with one hand, bring this over. So, I guess that's what it's going to be for now. And if I think of something better, I'll upgrade it.
All right, it's been uh, another few days since I've been out here uh, working on this project. I've been busy with some other stuff and the weather hasn't been great. We got uh, about two inches of rain in the last three days. So good test for the cabin out here weather-wise. And there are a few things that are looking good and some that aren't looking so good. So let me see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So this weather stripping that I put here in the front where the awning comes down has done pretty good overall. Um, although not 100%. There are some places where some moisture has, has gotten in. I guess my caulking job here wasn't 100%. Uh, also in the corners. So maybe it's, well, no, this is pretty dry. I don't know. I may have to reevaluate this a little bit. Also, even worse, the front door, I hope that my awning would shield the door from getting very wet, but you know, the bottom of the door out there on the outside is definitely getting, having rain hit it. And uh, you can see that it's um, making its way under here and onto the floor. So that ain't good either. I think I can put a piece of weather stripping here and caulk that in, hopefully resolve that problem, and I'll address the front also. Uh, otherwise, it mostly looks pretty good in there as far as water. Maybe I can see a little bit on that back wall. I'll have to get over there and take a closer look. Um, so a few things need to happen here to tighten this up. All right, so today I wanted to start building some of the interior features so the uh, the plans call for like two real narrow small beds on either side of, of a main walkway down the middle so like the door would open there'd be a main walkway a little uh, table or something under that window and then you'd have these beds on either side and one of the clever things was that this this one here is supposed to be on casters so you could roll it out here and kind of half sleep outside, or you could roll it up to the other one and have, you know, one bigger bed if you wanted that. But, uh, so I was thinking about that. I mean, that was my plan on this design from the beginning, but a couple of issues that I was thinking about are one, if there's a bed right here in front of the awning, it's kind of hard to get the awning up because then you have to do it from outside. And it's, I find it easier from the inside to push it up than you know, try to get underneath it and lift it from the outside and pull it up as you're stepping off the deck and all that. Um, the other thing is, if you do slide the two beds together, then one of them is right in front of the door and you can't get in and out. Uh, so that doesn't seem like it's going to work very well either. So because of that, I decided I, I want to do a little bit different arrangement. So my plan is to build like a bed frame for a, you know, single size bed under the window over here. Um, and that'll leave access to the awning, at least on this half, so you can kind of get in the middle and lift it up. And then for a little, you know, surface, work surface, uh, food prep area, I'm going to do that next to the door in the back. It'll, there's not a very big space, but I think I can build something or maybe even find like a hutch or a buffet or something that can sit there. And then they'll leave a area in the front here that's still open. So even though it's kind of wet and muddy out here this morning, it's going to make it hard to do much. Uh, I wanted to at least make a little bit of progress today. So I'm going to try to build this bed frame. Here we go. Watch this.
check it out. No exterior fasteners. That's how you know that it's quality. All right, there's the bed. All it needs is a mattress. Uh, bigger than I thought it would be. It takes up a lot of space in here. I mean, I measured it out and I kind of knew where it was going to go, but nothing really prepares you for actually seeing it in here. Um, so, I mean, there's still some space to walk around it, which is nice. That's a bonus. And I still think I can build a decent little place to stand there and have a work surface, so that's good. Uh, anyway, yeah, bad. So the next thing I'm going to do, I think maybe I can try to knock out today, is at least get started on the loft. Okay, so here's what I've got. Um, that, as you can see, my uh, original thought was that I would cover the whole space. Um, it's six feet long, like it is, which just leaves one, uh, you know, one fourth of the way is open here at the back for like a ladder to climb up. Um, Anyway, I was gonna cover the whole thing, but I don't have a piece of plywood big enough. I had, did have this piece that was left over from the floor. Uh, and then I was thinking, well, maybe that would be good and I can just put like a railing along there to make a space. And then it still le lets all the light in from the skylight down to the bottom. I don't know, maybe that's stupid. Maybe I'll get another piece of plywood and put it up there uh, and see what that's like. It seems a little narrow. But I'm going to try to climb up there and see what it looks like. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, this, this is a tight squeeze here, folks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't see much more than a kid using this space. It's kind of like being in a coffin. Whew. Oh yeah, that's cozy. This is gonna be real nice once all the spiders move in here. Yeah, this would be great. Actually, I mean, it, it is uh, kind of nice to be able to see down. It makes it feel a little less claustrophobic, I think, than it would if it was completely enclosed. Maybe this size panel is okay, but it should just be in the middle. 
and you almost don't need a railing, or at least an adult sure doesn't. I'd have a hard time climbing down through one of these holes. But if there was a kid up here, I don't know if I'd feel too happy about having a big opening like this. So I need something. I don't know what. I'll have to think on it. All right, this is what I came up with. Uh, I added these cedar slats on both sides. So that fills in the hole so you can't fall through there, but um, you can still see down so it doesn't feel quite so claustrophobic up here. It also lets light through for down below. And um, it lets some uh, air circulate, which is nice because I think if this was all closed up, it would get hot up here real fast. It's already getting warm up here and it's not even sunny out. It's kind of rainy and it's cool. So um, yeah, I think that this, this panel that I had turned into kind of a happy accident because I, I like having this open, I think better than I would just having a, a plywood sheet covering this whole thing, which is what I would have done if I had the materials on hand. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this loft is done. Oh, well it ain't done. It's not done until the ladder is built. It's just done. It's not done done. All right, uh, welcome back up to the cabin here. We uh, finally got a break in the rain. A couple of sunny days in the forecast. So thought I'd take this opportunity to finally get this floor done. Um, and it's turned into a mess. So the problem is, it just took a beating and really got dirty building this whole thing over it, which, you know, I guess I could have figured out <laughs> when I made that bad decision way back at the beginning. Uh, so I just really couldn't get it looking very clean. It, you know, you can't. it's hard to clean it because it's glue, and as soon as you get it wet, it's just gluey. So I did the best I could and uh, went ahead and put my first coat down and... We'll see how it does. I think uh, the lesson here for next time, if there's ever a next time, is I should have either waited until the whole thing was built to do anything, started gluing my pages down now, um, or finished the whole thing, polyurethane and all, before I started so that it could you know, withstand getting a little dirt on it and having somebody walk on it without getting torn up and looking like like a dirty mess. So it is what it is. The good news is the bed takes up the whole thing anyway, so there's hardly even any floor visible. So there's that. Okay, I'm down at the house this morning um, to build the, the little food prep buffet hutch, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I have some excess lumber that I'm going to try to use to, to build this thing. I just want it to have you know, kind of a work surface height. It needs to be able to fit in the space I have, which is pretty small. Maybe a single drawer and then a space under with a shelf. Um, so you might be wondering why I'm using this kind of junk wood. Uh, so I have, let me show you what I got here. Anytime Anytime I uh, have a project where I have excess wood or trimmings, I try to store all that. So I have all this uh, excess wood in here from different projects. So when I have something like this come up, I try to use what I've got. I've got a whole stack of fence boards from a fencing project I didn't use. I've got two by fours that are you know that I've cut off or pulled from some other project. Various things. So instead of buying new materials for something like this, I try to use what I've already got. Um, so I, I picked out these, these posts from something or other that I think I'll use for, you know, the, the posts. And then I'm going to try to use a bunch of these fence boards that are, they're cedar, so they're nice. I think I'll sand them down and do a little bit of a treatment on them and they'll be nice um, for the top and the sides and the drawer and all that. But I may... I'll see how it goes. I might uh, make some adjustments as it comes together.
Oh man, this thing is taking all day. Uh, it's getting there. Not too shabby for the first drawer I've ever built in my life. Look at that. So now it just needs the top, some finish, some sanding, a few more things. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back out to the cabin. Uh, today's project, unfortunately, is going to be redoing that loft. So, I was lying in bed this morning thinking about the cabin, you know, like you do, and decided that that, that loft is, just isn't going to work uh, the way I set it up. It's, it's, uh, it's just too tight of a space to be useful for much. It's also a lot higher than it needs to be. It's, it's a good nine feet from the floor. So, you know, even putting stuff up there is pretty high. Uh, so I'm going to bring it down. Uh, the reason I built it as high as I did in the first place was that for it to come down, it's going to be, at least one of the supports will be, you know, in the front awning opening, uh, which I was trying to avoid, but I decided it's going to be fine. I'd much rather have that space be sort of usable than, you know, mostly not. So, uh, with that said, I'm going to get cracking on it, and uh, I'll get back with you guys when it's done. I'll show you how it turned out. All right, uh, so I just got done with the new loft. So I brought it down about a foot. So, yeah, I sacrificed some head space in the main cabin. Um, and you can see from out here... Uh, like, you know, that space is in the loft, but, but the good news is the loft is actually sort of usable now, I think. So let's go up there and take a look. So I stuck with the same program here of my centerboard with the slats on the side for ventilation and light. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it's hard to tell on video, but this is, uh, there's a lot more space here than there was. You know, I can actually crawl down here instead of just scooch. So that's nice. I mean, this feels way better. I could sit up. Uh, so this is great. This could actually be used at this point. So that's a win. Okay, for the doorknob, I decided on this fancy thing. Uh, it's got a keypad. You put in a code to open the door. Uh, I thought this would be good for using it for hip camp. When somebody registers, you can just give them the code and then they can come up here and let themselves in. So I'm getting ready to install this in the door. Um, never installed, I mean, I, I've put doorknobs in doors that are all pre-drilled and set up before, but I've never started with fresh wood to install a doorknob. Uh, so here goes nothing. It's coming together here. I'm amazed.
Okay, folks, uh, this actually came together pretty good. Um, so I got my latch plate installed here and finished up uh, putting the handle back on with this thing recessed nicely. Check this out. Locked. Put in the secret code. Oh, don't look. And voila. Pretty slick. Okay, on this front threshold, uh, what I decided to do was cut this slot. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I've, I've even got a little angle on this board it's kind of facing that way. So the idea here now is when the front awning comes down, all the little troughs in the corrugation feed right into this slot. So before they were feeding right onto a board and I mean, you know, there's gaps. The water should kind of go that way and fall down through the gaps, but I was still getting a lot of back pressure even though this was sealed. So I'm hoping that with this slot, it'll help feed the water away a lot faster. And then I resealed uh, the threshold there. So hopefully that'll be better. Not sure what else I can do. All right, everybody. I think that's going to be it for part three on the cabin. Um, I got my, my uh, work station brought up here and installed. Got the bed back in. All I need is the mattress for the bed and a solution for the ladder. Still haven't figured that out yet, the ladder for the loft, because it would either be coming up the side and blocking the walkway or it's going to be kind of right in front of the door. I, I think I need something temporary that you can take down. Maybe a rope ladder or something like that, but I need to figure that out. And then I think that's it. So really, it's 99% of the way there. I may do uh, one more video on, you know, some of the interior fiddly stuff. But as far as building the cabin, it's, it's pretty much done. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.